Dory, did you see my underwear? What does it say about me? I wonder that I'm a whore. I'm like, okay, this is where it gets creepy. I came here as a trainee, uh, not a trainee, like a transgender. Shut up! I don't know, guys, what was it? Usually I'm not that aggressive. Okay, change of plans. Uh, I'm not the same person as you saw me in the last video. I might wear the same shirt, I might wear the same underwear. Let me cover my other parts. I know I'm so professional. I'm not the same person because our dramatic turn. I got my subscribers third comment under my first video. Probably, guys, gave you a little bit the wrong idea. Uh, I my, I posted my first video in Russian, and I honestly like I get, I'm, I'm Russian. If you didn't know that, but yeah, there has been a change in me since the last video. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you. I love feedback. I have nothing else to do, guys. Like except for like washing dishes and fucking working. But we know. I mean, you know that I hate working. Gusta Taylor. Привет, Augusta! Thank you so much, first of all, for a question. And Constantine. Basically, my first video video was in Russian about how to find the internship. I came here as a trainee, uh, not a trainee, like a transgender, a trainee on visa, on one visa. And I just like decided to grab a camera. Yeah, let's talk about it. Uh, let me grab a coffee. We, yeah, I mean, I, I came to the States five years ago. I'm, yeah, like from Russia. Uh, on J1 visa as a trainee, so it's like a program for young professionals and I made a video how I even like found the company to cut to the chase. I think I'm going to actually make another video like in, in English, like how I found the internship, but actually let's do it right now. Let's talk about it right now. To cut, to cut it to the chase, by the way, of course, like I'll reply to a question 100%. I will put some time code so you can click um, on the part when I'm gonna transition into it. I'm not from a very rich family, like, you know, ordinary, like, blue-collared, blue like, class. Both of my parents are railroad engineers. I know, for some of you, it's just, like, railroad engineers, but yes. God, like, I'm sorry that I'm jumping. I just, like, want to give you all the details. At the same time, I can skip, like, some of the parts. Basically, I'm from, like, a very small town. I think the last time I checked, we had 30,000 people living there. But it's a very small town. We have three schools in our town. But to tell you the truth, I got an A for my English. I had English classes since I was um, in fifth grade, I want to say. But it, it's been like horrible, like Apple, Sky, like nobody is like, we're like laughing and we did the exercises, but fuck me, like I, I didn't know like why I even did English. I was not like attracted to it. I, yeah, I didn't give and I started learning English at the age of 18. I was really watching friends, watching, um, I think in English it's called, uh, in Russian it's called Zichorovane. I just like want to give you a little bit like background. Like always dreaming like America, you know, listening to Red Hot Chili Pepper, ruling over this kind of like life. And when I uh, got accepted into school, into college, I had Porach uh, Porachov Pizza. I had like, you know, this like fight in me, this like force, I had free time, I... How many minutes I'm like talking already? My other subscriber? <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm just like so excited. Konstantin was asking like to make a video about how I learned English, but basically I learned English like just like Google some things like a thousand most popular words uh, in English, most useful words in English. And I would print it out and would study five words a day. Let's say it's like day number one, five words. I don't, I didn't even know if I pronounced it correctly. Uh, five words the second day. I would repeat those five words from the first day and study uh, uh, another five words. On day three, I would repeat the first set of five words, the second set of five words, and the third, and so on, so on, so on. But the thing is, I was like very like smart on books. I, I was so infatuated with that like other life back then. Like, this is where it gets creepy. I, I still remember where it is, like which section, which store it is in English paper. And I would like treasure this newspaper, would smell it, would like fucking sleep with it. I'm so sorry, it is a long video, but I just really want to give you like a background, how I was feeling how I learned English and like how it kind of like led uh, to my training program. I knew a lot of words but I, but I still couldn't speak so on the second year I believe I enrolled into 
F school. Um, I still remember my first class there. Holy shit. I was like so infatuated with the teachers. I was, oh my god, I had the biggest crush on Garrett, and our teacher from the States. Oh, I was like, oh, if this is what how America looks like, yes, this is the place I need to be. I still remember my first class. I yeah, it was it did not go well. I couldn't like it was like I was pooping or like giving birth. I was like I, was, I couldn't give a labor to like one sentence. They're like, oh, do you understand this word? I'm like, yes, 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 yes. Okay, say it in a sentence. It was like a, I don't know. I was given like, I don't know, the toughest poop or something. Like, I was like, Ugh! And I was going to EF for a couple of years and then I met my first American boyfriend. By the way, all my boyfriends are like American. I've never dated a Russian boyfriend. What does it say about me? I wonder. That I'm a whore. Very good. So, okay, let's cut to the chase already. I think before I applied to the training program, it's already... Uh, I was learning English for three years, I want to say. <laughs> fucking tired. God, I'm fucking tired. God, I just woke up like two hours ago. Before I applied, I've been only in the United States once for three months. I don't consider myself being like an advanced English back then. And I still, I, I think honestly, to be honest, my English, because I was like so, again, like infatuated and wanted to be so perfect. I think I consider this was like, oh shit. Oh, it's my laundry. Shut up! I don't know guys, what was it? Usually I'm not that aggressive. The whole process took for me uh, one month. Yeah, I know it sounds ridiculous, but it took for me one month. Can I put you here? Unless all I had to do is like submit five documents. I had to submit, uh, I'll leave you, uh, it's called, I think it's called ICD in USA, the company, I always forget. My like international passport, like ID, a resume, like the simplest resume, I'll leave my resume honestly like below, like, and right now I'm rereading it. And I was like, holy shit, this is, sounds so stupid. This doesn't make any sense, but I, what did I know back then? Motivation letter, also copy and pasting. I, I will leave mine below, like, please use it if it will help you. I, what I need it for, nothing. Um, a recommendation letter. Recommendation letter was from, what was that? Recommendation letter was from my friend and colleague. I wrote it myself, also copy and pasting uh, half of the page and she just signed it. That's it, guys. Seriously. Oh! Yeah, I submitted those five documents. I basically, yeah, when you apply, they partner you up with like a, like a person, like kind of your professional, I don't know, like individual kind of a person who will guide you through the whole process. And she was like so nice to me. She was Russian, but she spoke with me in English. She was so nice to me. She explained me everything. We had a couple of calls. I submitted all these documents, which took me like, I don't know, maybe a week putting it all together. I submitted all the documents and she was like, oh, and after like, we, like here we go, you know, we have uh, one company, the first, we already have uh, set up the first interview for you. So yeah, it's a company from Miami. Uh, Apex Capital Realty, shout out. Sorry, did you see my underwear? All set, don't beep, I'm making a video. Unbelievable. Uh, she set me up seriously, like, this is uh, not a, this is not a promotion, but at the same time, this is guys a promotion because I was working with another company, with a Russian company, uh, the one from Voronezh that I talk about in my Russian uh, video. And I, they couldn't set me up for like the interview for like six months, you know, and this company uh, set me up with like kind of match me up with another company in the first week. I got ready for the interview, uh, nothing crazy. She asked me like very um, simple questions like, uh, I don't know, what do you like to do? By the way, I have a major in accounting, so I graduated as an accountant and my like faculty is called accounting, analysis and ana analysis and audit. Accounting, audit and analysis. Something like this. Yeah, I'm such a great student, don't fucking remember shit. She basically asked me like, why am I interested in, why am I interested in coming to the States, why the States? And obviously I was like, okay, the United States is like the center right now of the innovations, blah, 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 of the marketing. And it was a marketing uh, internship. Like basically I had to hook 
for like anything they offer me because I was already uh, waiting for six months from another company to have an interview and I didn't have an interview and when they offer it to me and they're like oh it's a marketing internship I was like fuck yeah I'll take it you know I was working for a year and a half as an analyst with Excel yeah and I was like holy shit I'll take anything at this point so yeah we had an interview maybe like 30 minutes one interview I literally I said I, I, could, I could be anybody I could be a maniac who comes in a Russian hat wearing Russian hat to the interview and sits there in when it's like in a hot room inside with the hat sweating off for 30 minutes I didn't take it off but uh, yeah and I, I didn't think my English was that good back then honestly even though I had an American boyfriend but uh, all my activities was like uh, in Russian language I didn't watch movies in English I didn't talk to anybody except for my boyfriend in English and we were fighting all the time so I didn't talk to him much so I consider my, lang my language be um, B2 I think back then she basically accepted me I don't know I think they were also looking for an intern for a very long time and uh, yeah and the first interview the first week and I already had the offer and yeah from there you're like uh, the person who guides you you know from ICT in USA picks up prepares all the documents sends uh, them to you just sign you just like in this uh, honeymoon process of like waiting between like already the last chapter of your life like uh, ending and the, f the next chapter is like about to start and you're like ah I'm going to America <laughs> to all of your friends like uh, it, it was like pretty cool but finally finally how I found a job after my internship was over so you as you know you can do like a training program for like six months three months even three months six months uh, nine months 12 months guys and the price fuck me fuck me hard my apartment right now in Miami it costs 37 fucking hundred dollars 30 fucking seven hundred dollars and you can go I think the program itself it cost um, I mean, uh, you can get internship like that pays you. My internship, this is like the best scenario, best case scenario. My internship paid me a thousand dollars. But guys, I had like in one month, I had like five jobs. Like seriously, I was fucking hustling this, this little butt over and over, like everywhere. The prices, I didn't finish my sentence as usual, I don't. Uh, the prices for the program, I think it's like. We'll leave you the prices but guys like i think in the info box below but guys this is so fucking cheap this is i think a half of my rent per month yeah and this is i don't know changes your life come on guys do it how i found the job so um, at the time when you arrive like guys like please seriously everybody I, I get it everybody's scared like when i came here i didn't have like fucking one single person who lived in miami you know seriously i don't have any relatives here i didn't have any friends here like nobody zero zero people but when you come here i swear to god like somehow it's like i don't know force of like life universe uh, first of all your colleagues like Americans are so nice such nice people uh, they like oh my god I have a Russian friend maybe I'll give you her you know her number you can give her a call she will tell you how I don't know if she has any friends who are looking for uh, I don't know who need like a roommate or who who are looking for like some kind of I don't know workers or maybe who, who's looking for the rent uh, who or maybe who's looking for the roommate you know uh, your colleagues are like so um, understanding and especially like places like Miami let's say New York everybody came from all over the world like LA like fuck me like people are coming people are immigrating here every day there's so many communities big cities like this yeah you have like everybody and people themselves came from different maybe uh, even Americans other American cities or from other countries and everybody's so concerned and so understanding and want to help you so they're like oh my god like yes let me uh, they I don't know without you even asking them they're like oh my god yes I'll help you like let me take you for the drinks let me show you where you can buy groceries or let's find you an apartment together you know they're so helpful not that you need to like you can rely on them you'll do everything like for me or they'll help me 
But seriously guys, like, I don't know, you go to the store, um, I don't know, you like take an Uber and like, like a Russian speaking person, she's like, oh my god, yes, my friend is looking for a roommate. I don't know, like, this is how, it, I don't know, something is happening, so how I found like jobs. This bitch has stopped filming. How it happened in my situation. By the time when I finished uh, internship, I had two positions on my resume. So I had, I was like analyst in Moscow and I was a marketing intern. But uh, a, a friend of my colleague knew a guy who was looking for like a personal assistant because he just started his startup company and he needed somebody to help him with it. And he was from Moldova, so he spoke Russian. My other, the friend of a friend, she's like, I also need like somebody to help me with like social media or like, I don't know, back then it was kind of like, it. Well, it's not like my professional like career started, but you will definitely get some, um, I don't know, get some gigs that will help you to stay on your feet and save some money and uh, will allow you to put some, uh, I don't know, some really good, um, lines on your resume so in order to find like another job the thing is I stayed here uh, you can extend you know you can extend your internship to a year and a half uh, or you can get married basically you need to do something and like apply for green card basically basically you need to do something in order to get this work authorization because without work authorization you will not be able to find like a real like uh, job with like a uh, insurance even though insurance not that it's such a big deal right now I think because there are so many companies who are like very cheap like dentists like uh, I don't know clinics that will take you without insurance and they don't cost much to resume if you want to uh, stay in the country without having a work authorization you can definitely because this like I also stay when I finished uh, my internship I had one Monday evening job when I would go to South Beach, uh, like touristy place in Miami, and would take pictures uh, of like couples and would sell the, the pictures. It's basically from the restaurant, like restaurant pictures. And I had um, another gig which was like a personal assistant to this uh, Moldovian guy who just uh, started uh, a startup company. And I had another gig with um, like another like a personal assistant who uh, helped a designer with her social media honestly didn't like to be personal assistant to people but it really fucking helps you to put up with so many different personalities uh, you kind of wear a lot of hats because it's only like the founder in you and you have to wear a lot of hats and you need to learn how to do a lot of things on your own and it taught me tremendously so many things and it taught me like this perseverance um, you know like you see uh, Vasily the guy who uh, had his startup uh, smart glass uh, check it out it's an amazing company but uh, yeah he taught me like if you really want something you go and do it if you don't know how to do it you fucking like I don't know wake up at 5 a.m. and Google things and you still do it he taught me like you know if you really want something just like go and do it and everything is possible because he started from nothing now he has like I don't know nine, nine locations they have all over the world Saudi Arabia Canada United States like it's amazing guys the truth of Google the, like yeah this is like the word of mouth and also I had a lot of I used to live with three Russian girls and they told me like which restaurant is, like hires um, immigrants as uh, waiters yeah you need to hustle you know you need to hustle to tell you the truth especially in the first year and the second year but it's like fun hustling you know it's like a new country a new city a new language new like new friends, new people, and it's fun. Uh, you get tired, but at the end of the day, you know that you're, like, you have a goal in mind, and you know why you're doing it. You feel like you're just a, I don't know, different person. So yeah, my friends helped me a lot with, uh, they had friends of the friends who were like looking for workers, who were looking, I don't know, who knew also companies who hire immigrants without work authorization. So. Yeah, there are always ways, but your yeah, word of mouth and friends and remind you, I didn't know anybody 
and I don't know, just like met people without even looking for them through my colleagues who knew uh, some Russian girls who were like were looking for a roommate. Just need to get here and everything will follow through. And if you have any questions, guys, please let me know. I love talking to you, I love helping you, please. So, and it's always fun that it just like warms my heart that you are like watching my videos and you, yeah, have all these questions, please. Here is my all the information, I'll leave all the information, my resume, my motivation letter below, yeah, all the prices. So if you have any kind of questions, please let me know. You can already turn off the video, but here's like gonna be philosophical thought. I just turned 29, um, May 5th. Taurus, Taurus gang! And, uh, and I moved here when I was 23, 24. Yeah, on the verge. I turned 24 in a few days after moving here. Now is the age of like, oh my god, fuck everybody. You st I love it that how you stop caring. You know, how what other people think, what even you think. You just like go and do it. Because you've been through not doing things for so long that you're like so tired with, with yourself. And I don't know, you just go and do it. You know, before I wouldn't like even, I can't imagine appearing uh, in front of the camera. I don't know, without makeup. Like, and now, like, look at me not giving a shit. Yeah, guys, everything is possible. And I'm, I'm happy to be that person who is, um, I don't know, giving you a hand and pulling you through here in the place where you want to be. It's 12.30 p.m., guys, on Memorial Day on Monday. We have a day off, holiday today in the States. So I think I'll go to the cafe. I think I'll read a little bit. Please subscribe. And I'll promise I'll get better. Bye.